So you came here looking for the best blank to use for your t-shirt brand in 2023. My name's Russ. I've been successfully running my own clothing brand for the last 10 years. And today I'm gonna to tell you exactly where you could find that blank. There's three major components to searching for a blank. The first one is cost, second is fit, and third is accessibility. Let's break that down. When you think of cost, you need to think about how much is it gonna cost you and how much is it gonna cost the end consumer? And does it even matter? For example, if you do a pre-order, you're gonna charge the customer, the customer prepays for the actual shirt. It's really not a problem for you. But let's just say you want to build inventory and stock it all yourself. Well, the cost of those shirts is going to matter. If you have a limited budget, how are you going to afford to buy the most expensive blanks? The other thing is you got to think about the customer. How much can they afford to buy your shirts for? So you have to consider the price points of how much you're selling your shirts for. For example, if you're just selling shirts at your local swap meet or farmer's market, things like that, usually people are looking for shirts probably in the $20, $25 range. If you're talking about t-shirts that are gonna go to a more higher end boutique, um, streetwear, things like that, I would say it ranges from 35 to 40. You know, you just gotta see where you fit in and be realistic with yourself. Just because these other brands are able to do it, are you really comparing apples to apples? Is your shirt really meant to be at that price point? There's already a lot of videos on YouTube that discuss the styles of shirts, the different brands, the fit. I really suggest looking into those. The number two most important thing, I think, when choosing your blank is really the fit. I think you need to really consider who's actually wearing it. In my personal opinion, I noticed that a lot of people wear their shirts differently and there's different types of customers for different types of shirts. If you have a brand that's mainly into the vintage thing or streetwear, like trendy streetwear, things like that, right now what's really popular is the oversized boxy fit. If you're into a standard streetwear brand, you know, the classic 1301 by All Style, now American Apparel, has always been just the classic standard shirt that could fit everybody. But then at the same time, you have those people that are, I always considered this type of shirt, like more like a surf shirt, maybe more like a coffee shop, uh, restaurant, things like that. You would expect to get like a next level, really thin, tighter fit, uh, slimmer. That's a more modern fit for most people. It, it's what you'd expect in a retail world versus a boutique, you know, but not all designs look good on other shirts. For example, if you were to put one of those big vintage NASCAR shirts or something like that, and you stick it on a next level 3600 slim fit, uh, side seams tailored, you know, it's not going to look right. And you know, it's not going to look right, but yet I see people do it. And at the same time, there's certain designs that look better on garment dyed oversized boxy fit as well and you can't just flip them either way sometimes the type of art that you do really depicts the kind of shirt you're going to use so what i think is the most important part is the third part and which is accessibility in 2023 it's just so hard to get blanks if you're basing your artwork on color or you need a certain type of blank or your customer only wears a certain style of shirt things like that those are all important but the other thing that's important is, can you even get the shirts? Problem with that is, let's just say you pre-order and you tell your customers, this is the shirt that is going to come on. This is the color, etc. You take in all their money, you go to order it, and it just doesn't exist. That's really a situation that's going to happen in 2023 and for I don't know how long. Let's just say you want to heat press a shirt or you don't have a lot of inventory and you just buy one-offs. So how accessible is that? Maybe you have to use a Gildan. Maybe you have to use something that they sell at your local store, your local five for 10 t-shirt store, something like that, because you need accessibility. When you sell something on your site, you're gonna have to be able to come through and you're gonna have to be able to come through fast, right? So you need to be able to get it right away. In my suggestion, there's a lot of wholesale distributors out there. Um, there's SNS, I heard there's Alpha Broder. Um, there's mission and printables, things like that. A lot of the bigger ones, they'll show their inventory of just how much they have so you know how much you can play with. There's a few companies out there where they have blanks that are great, but you just never know how much they have. For example, let's just say you want to do a full size run, small through double X, and then you find out when you order, they have no medium, they have no XL, everything in that color is sold out. It's not going to come back for six months. Like, what's the point of doing that? So again, with number three, I think it's just so important to figure out your needs, what you need from the blank. 
and which one of these three things is the most important. And first thing you need to understand is that there is no perfect blank. There is no t-shirt that fits everyone. Everyone is so different. You can have a heavyweight shaka tee, give it to someone and they're going to say, why is it so cheap? It feels like cardboard. You know, I'm more used to something that's thin, like a next level. Then you take someone else that's used to a shaka tee or something like that. You give them a next level and they're like, what is this trash? It's like paper thin. You're never going to be able to please everyone. So number one thing you should do is really find out the price point of your customers, find out the fit that they want and see which one of your options is accessible to you. And that's the only way that you're going to be successful and be able to provide the quality that you can always count on when they come to you. Try to buy samples of all of them. There's a lot of blanks out there. And if you go on YouTube, search up best t-shirt, things like that, you're going to find all these brands where a lot of creators did a great job showing how they fit, showing the style, the price point, things like that. But really take the things I said into consideration. And I wish you guys luck. Till next time.